Okay, so I'm going to go through how to get to the SLO videos. So thank you, Coach Horn, for letting me use your account. So when you're lo logged into Teachscape, you go to Teachscape Learn. And when you click on Teachscape Learn, you're going to go to Courses and Learning Resources. And when you click on that, under PG professional development go to the SLO course series or if you haven't done the health services videos you can do those also we'll do the SLO ones since those are the ones most current so if you click on those and then you click search what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you all six of the series please note that for some reason they aren't in chronological order number one is here number two is there you may want to pay attention to them and actually watch them in order so I'm gonna to go to SLO series course series one if you go over to actions and click on actions there's a option to register so once you click on register it will automatically Mark start the video you don't have to watch it right away I suggest that you don't from there you go back to courses and learning resources back to SLO series back to the search the big search button on the right and again you do the same thing for series 2 register again it's gonna pop up do it again four three as you begin and four four And for five, and finally for six. So now that you're registered for all of the six courses, if you go to My Learning up top, go to My Learning and click on it. On the left-hand side, you see In Progress Learning. You also say see Completed Learning. So if you click In Progress Learning is what it defaults to. And here you can see that all of your series are here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. If you click on Launch, it's going to play the video right so you have the video here once you've finished watching the video then you will see here it says content module this is the video you can do that at limited unlimited times right underneath it is the assessment after you watch the video you're gonna launch the assessment launch the assessment and then you're gonna click next and it's gonna bring you to the two there's only two questions for each assessment for each of the videos. So click on next and then submit. I don't want to do it because it's Coach Horns' account and I don't want to mess her up or take away any of your attempts. So click next. It's going to give you two questions. After the questions, you hit submit and then you're going to exit. And so I'm going to save data and resume later. So that it'll be there for her you won't have to do that and then when you come back if you go to your completed learning it'll show underneath all the ones that you've completed and if you've been successful or not so I'm gonna quickly just log into my account so that you can um, see what it looks like once you've done completed all the videos so I'm going to go to my learning and I'm going to go to completed learning and below it's going to show all the videos that I've taken and if I've been successful or not so it shows both the video and I think it actually just shows the assessment and it shows that it's been successful okay if you have any questions just let me know thanks